Good morning, guys. It is, what is today? I don't have no idea. April 24th, so it's Wednesday. It's 8 14 in the morning, and I'm getting ready to make my coffee for the day. And I thought, hey, why not show you guys how I make my coffee in the morning? So, what you will need is coffee. This, I don't have a Keurig or anything like that, or I just make a cup every morning, but <clears throat> I do a pot, but I stick in the fridge. Sorry, don't mind me. Any creamer of your choice. I like the Silk Unsweetened Vanilla Almond Milk. You can use whatever you like. I also have a sugar-free creamer that you can use, but um, after I looked at like the long list of ingredients in that, I was like, oof. I really don't want to be using that quite often. Um, if you want some extra um, flavorings, this is extra rich pure vanilla extract. Coconut oil. And um, any unsweetened um, grass-fed cow butter. I use Kerrygold Unsweetened. It's kind of horrible. But and I use a tablespoon of the butter, a tablespoon of the coconut oil, half a cup of the milk, a cup of coffee, just a splash of this, and then four packets of stevia in the raw. And then I warm it up in the microwave for two minutes and then we blend it all together. So let's get to whipping. So I kind of forgot to hit the record button when I started mixing it, but all you're gonna do is put it in a blender or a magic bullet. I have a magic bullet or a ninja or pretty much anything that you can get to get it mixing um, and just mix it. I like to mix it for like 30 seconds to a minute because I just feel like it, I don't know, I just like to do it. And this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a latte. So, and it's amazing. So, it's probably gonna be a full day of eating video. I will show you guys what I eat when I eat breakfast in a couple hours. All right guys, so I'm getting ready to make my first meal of the day and all I'm gonna have is three eggs and some bacon bits, maybe a little cheese. I honestly have no idea yet, but um, I'm gonna do two servings of the bacon bits and three whole eggs with some oil to cook it in. I use the, y'all have seen my grocery hauls. I use the coconut oil. If it wants to focus. Um, spray or avocado oil spray. Whatever you want. Or sometimes I'll use butter and I'll brown up the butter. So, and all I'm gonna season with is pink Himalayan sea salt. If it focuses, but it won't because it's stupid. And just black pepper. So, I season that, uh, I season, I weigh this out. Um, the easiest thing I've noticed is throwing it on the scale, zeroing it out, and then I need like a new scale. So two servings of this is 14 grams. So that's what we're gonna do. Even if it's a little, see it's 16, it, it's fine. So do that. That's all I really need my scale for. Yes, Cameron. 
debating if I want to leave my eggs whole or not. So we'll see. So I just cook this until they technically start popping. <clears throat> or I just cover it with eggs. These are um, SunUp's eggs. They're, they used to be really, I mean, they technically are still cheap, but they went from like, they were like 50 something cents and now all of a sudden they're like almost a dollar. I'm like, what, what is this? What is this? Why? Wow. So I'm gonna do three of these. Oh! And don't even shower. Oh, it broke. Damn it, don't you hate that when it's like, it's gonna be good and then all of a sudden it like breaks, the yolk breaks. I'm like, what is this? What is this, why? Cameron, how about we leave that in there, please? Um, if you're doing a low carb, high fat diet or Atkins or keto, whatever you technically wanna call it, it used to be called Atkins diet then, Apparently it's keto now, which is whatever. Um, lots of salt. You need lots and lots of salt. So. I really need to clean this oven. It's really disgusting. Or stove. Whatever you want to call it. So. Um. So this is just gonna cook. I might put a lid on it just to cook the top up because it may be hard to flip and I kinda don't wanna break the yolks. So once it's done cooking, I'll show you guys what it looks like and I'll put the macros down below. Right here it is, um, the broken one and these ones are still kinda nice and gooey. Hold on, let's see. Let's see. All right, maybe this one is, oh yeah, just a little bit. May have overcooked them just a smidge. There we go. Look at that. And topped it with a little bit of sriracha. So now I'm gonna eat this and it'll be so good. Catch you guys in the next clip. Hey guys. Um, so I'm gonna prep some dinner tonight. Um, it's gonna be some fish and I'm gonna bread it and fry it. And you're probably like, bread, what are you gonna bread it with? Um, I have the Quest Protein Powder, it's for one scoop, it's 100 calories, zero fat, one total carb, and 24 grams of protein. Because this is gonna be something I can use if I'm craving pancakes, or if I'm craving something like breaded chicken, or something like that along those lines. So, um, if you don't know, if you haven't watched a previous post of mine, my parents came, and everything for my son's birthday and they brought us some fish and lobster we cooked all the lobster and ate it and now my dad it's um red snapper it's so good um and i'm gonna be cooking this tonight i'm just gonna cut it up into some fillets and then i'm gonna throw it in a bag with some um seasoning and let it just sit and mellow out for the rest of the day and i'm also going to be cooking some chicken thighs but that i like to cook right like season right before i put it in the oven so i'm going to get these like look how big this filet is i mean can you imagine how massive that fish was <sighs> i can't wait to eat this tonight so i'm going to cut this up in probably four to six ounce filets I'll show you what they look like, or you can watch me cut them up and get them seasoning and into the bag. So let's get started. I right, guess I'm getting ready to cook my next meal. It is 2 p.m. roughly. I'm having a serving of pepperoni, a 
serving of cheese and one serving of bacon bits to make a little pizza. So let's get to cooking. So all I do is I just throw my little pepperonis in the pan. I love how it says 14, but I honestly think it's more or less than 14. I honestly don't know. Always weigh, because it'll say, um, like two pieces is this much. And it'll say less than no, that is 14 pieces, which is surprising because normally it's always wrong. Help me today, guys. Help me today. It's kind of dark. So. Um, then a serving of the Sargento mozzarella cheese. And then a serving of this. I ran out of my other. I'm lying. I'm lying. A serving of this is seven grams. Oh, Don't you love when you cut them up? So. And then, like I said, a serving of cheese, and this is 28 grams per serving. Let's turn that off. Thank you. Turn it off real quick. Twenty eight on the dot. So we're just gonna sprinkle that. Oh, actually, since it's not a lot of fat, I'm gonna do two, two servings. And because I can't math, I'm just going to zero it out again. Don't you love that? into everything. So I'm just gonna let this cook, um, let it get all melty. And like, I get it burned on the bottom. Um, like, I burn the bottom of it. I just love it. Um, sprinkle a little bit of seasoning right on top. And probably eat this with some blue cheese or something. And good to go. I'll show you guys what it looks like after it's done cooking. Here's what it looks like, and like I told you, I kind of burned the bottom of it, just so it holds it all together. And I like the taste of it being a little burnt, not gonna lie. So this is meal number two. All right guys, so um, before I wanted to completely dive in and um, burn all my chicken in the Quest powder, my chicken, my fish in the Quest powder, I decided to do a, sorry for Liam, he wants cookies. I gave him cookie, now he's mad. But I wanted to test a piece out first so I could see how the protein powder was gonna hold up in some vegetable oil and everything like that. And it honestly looks pretty good. Like, really good, I'm not gonna lie. Looks, if it wants to focus on this guy, yeah, but it, no, there we go. Um, so now I'm gonna, I wish I had some lime juice, I told my, husband to pick some up before look at that fish it's so white and flaky and it doesn't want to focus it's nice it's white it's flaky it's delicious it won't focus for anything oh there we go and it's so good so here we go mm. 
no, it's, wow, surprisingly it's nice. It adds a nice little crisp, crispy crunches, which is something I'm not gonna lie, I honestly need. Especially being on a low carb day, you're like, oh my goodness, I miss all the fried things. And I'm not gonna lie, I do, I miss bread and everything like that. But this, Mm. Oh, I need some key lime juice. Burn myself together. I might be on myself. Oh my goodness. So good. Like, seriously. This is amazing. Um, hello. <laughs> Sorry. Definitely, if you are watching your calories or you're on low carb, high fat. I definitely would recommend this protein powder as something to use if you're aiming for like some breaded chicken or something like that because it is so good. So I'm gonna wait a little bit. This was my three ounce piece. I'm like eating it because it's so good. I can't stop. I'm gonna wait about 20 more minutes till I get started on dinner. And yeah, it's so good. I definitely recommend it. So now I'm gonna eat this and then get started on cooking dinner. I'll catch you guys when I actually eat dinner. All right, hey guys. Um, I have my fish cooking and what I decided to do is do an egg bath as well. So since it's already in a wet um, mixture, I first put it in the protein powder. And then in the egg, and then back in the protein and then into the pan. This is my first three that I have started for now and they look pretty good. That's gonna get cooked tonight as well in the oven. I'm just gonna bake it with some seasonings. So yeah, this is what it looks like. You can get it going. I would show you, but it's gonna get ex it's extremely messy. Probably to wash my hands like a bajillion times. Feels like. So I'm gonna get these finished and after it's all done, I will show you guys what it looks like. So dinner is a salad with a blue cheese dressing, a sprinkle of cheese, and some bacon crumbles, and one piece of fish. Hey guys, I just got home from the gym. It was crazy busy. I did shoulders and um, chest. Had some hit cardio. And for dessert, because I'm so excited for this, is your sugar-free jello. And some ready whip. I'm low on my fat, <laughs> and I still have like so many carbs left. This has 15 calories for two tablespoons. I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna count it. How many? I'm just gonna take like a giant serving of Jello. Oops. Because I mean, this is like an amazing dessert if you're doing low carb. And took like, what is that piece like right here or right here? You yeah, know, how do I how do? Sometimes I'll put sprinkles on top, but I'm not going to. Oh, I keep doing that. I'm gonna eat those. Okay. Husband's calling me. I'm coming! See you guys later. All right guys, I am fresh out of the shower. I'm gonna get started on editing, editing this video. I hope you enjoyed it. My full day of eating um, and the recipe of the fish. I will um, write everything down below in the description box so you guys can follow it step by step and everything like that, so. Yeah, um, I plan on doing a physique like shot probably tomorrow morning. Show you guys what I look like and I'll, for that video I'll also put my measurements and all that jazz. Um, so yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you guys have an amazing night and I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and questions, comments, leave them down below. Good night guys.